I hear quite a lot of Christians talk about the need for revival in America today, and I certainly understand and agree. But have you ever wondered what it would take for revival to come? Now, generally, revival is defined as the restoration of the church itself to a vital and fervent relationship with God, typically after a period of moral decline or disobedience. Sound like what we need, right? Well, but what does it take for revival to come? Well, this is certainly not an exhaustive list, but here's a few quick thoughts. Number one, we have to believe that we need it. This requires us to be awake and sober-minded as a church. Number two, we need to believe that it's possible. This requires some faith on our part. Some people don't believe that anything can change. And number three, we have to believe that God, in fact, can do it. He is the source of revival, plain and simple. This requires trust on our part and obedience. Number four, we have to commit to prayer as prayer is the conduit by which revival will come as we see in 2 Chronicles 7.14. And finally, number five, we must put ourselves in a position of obedience so that we can in fact receive revival from God. This means that we must repent of our sin. You see, sin is the barrier to revival. Now, when we talk about sin and repentance, we typically think about sins of commission or sins that we commit. But did you know that there are three types of sin? First, there is the sin of commission, as I just mentioned. But number two, there's also the sin of omission, where we fail to do the thing that Christ has commanded us to do. And third, there are sins of thought, as Jesus told us. Now, perhaps one of the greatest sins in the United States Church over the past 30 years has been the sin of omission with regard to the Great Commission. Some years ago, I read a book by Tom Clegg and Warren Bird titled, Lost in America. And through their study, they found that 50% of the churches in America led no one to Christ in the prior year. They conducted church services, Sunday school, choir, youth groups, you name it, but no one came to Christ. They raised and spent hundreds of thousands of dollars, perhaps millions in the process, with no fruit. Amazing. I saw a recent study done by New Orleans Seminary that showed one of our main denominations in the USA was 50 to 1. That means for every 50 people sitting in a pew, one person came to Christ last year. Another major denomination is 300 to 1. How can this be? Well, do you want to know the truth? We've ceased to obey Christ and go into the highways and byways of life, sharing the good news with a dying world. As Clegg and Bird so aptly titled their book, I think we've become lost in America. So then, if revival is going to come to the church in America, we need to repent of our sin of omission. We need to go to our friends, to our families, to our work associates, our neighbors, and yes, even strangers that we meet, and share the gospel of Jesus Christ unapologetically. Now, the main reason we don't go is that we don't know how. And that's why we at Evangelism Explosion have begun Equip America. It's a one-day training event meant to kickstart the churches in America, causing us to get into the harvest field and to obey Christ. Before the event, we train and inspire a group of prayer warriors to start to intercede for the city. And at the event itself, we spend time learning the gospel, and then we go out and share it in a friendly and fun way. And we see God work. Mostly, we prove that the church actually can share the gospel today in a meaningful way. And I tell you that the churches that have become involved so far testify that they feel revived, excited about joining God in his mission of taking the gospel to this generation. We've held three of these events so far with our fourth event this Saturday in Evansville, Indiana. At the first of this next year, we're going to effort to do one of these a month all across America, doing all that we can to join God in bringing revival to our land. This is our focus this week at Evangelism Explosion through all of our media outlets and our daily broadcast. You can visit sharelife.today to learn about Equip America and how you can be equipped to work in the harvest. There's a link that you can click on to learn more. Just go to sharelife.today. Please, will you pray for us this week? Pray for this event in Evansville, Indiana this weekend and for favor with churches across our land as we conduct Equip America. Thank you. May God richly bless you as you serve him.